What's good? What's good? What's good? We back. We back, right? So, boom. I told you I was going to update y'all about dating the elements in astrology, right? In the zodiac. So, that's what this video is going to be about. And we're going to start with fire. So, I'm not going to name the signs. I did that already. We're just going to talk about the element. How I could detect the elements when being expressed when I'm dating now. You know, dealing with astrology more and more and more, you'll be able to pick up on these types of things, right? So, Let's start with fire. Um, I'll tell you like this, right? The most thing that I appreciate about, I appreciate about uh, fire expressions is the honesty. Like, even if it's not my cup of tea, because sometimes the fire energy is so bleh, right? They're just being who they are and what they are at that moment in time. There's no punches being pulled. There's no fur on their tongue. Now, it doesn't mean that they're right. It doesn't mean that I agree with them. We can agree to disagree and all that. But I still appreciate that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no game plan. There's no there's no strategy involved when fire energy is being expressed. You know what I'm saying? It's just, here it is. Take it how it is. It is what it is type shit. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that shit. And I'm a Pisces. You know what I'm saying? I know I'll be seeing a lot of people talk about... Pisces don't know how to take this or, you know, they cry babies when they hear X, Y, and Z. I don't know. I'm not like that. You know what I'm saying? I actually appreciate. Um, I think Pisces energy in general can appreciate when someone's being honest because there's enough enough mental potential mental issues that could be at play there dealing with a Pisces. That even if you say some hurtful, harmful shit, fuck it, at least you said it. At least they know where you stand. You know what I'm saying? So they don't got to make that fucking mistake again of, of, of fucking with you in a certain type of way or believing that you are a certain type of way. You know what I mean? But that's just me. Pisces get in the comment section if you differ or you got some other type of experience or if you agree. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's I love that shit. You know what I'm saying? I also love the authenticity. Because ain't no faking, ain't no, and you know, in astrology, right? We got our game face and we got our natal chart, right? So the game face is the sun sign horoscopes and shit like that that you read in the newspapers and shit. So whatever air, I mean, not air, whatever fire expression is expressed, it just burns through the fucking mask. Yo, I don't care what their ascendant is. What It don't even fucking matter. Like, once the fire energy is expressed, I can detect that shit. And the authenticity is what makes them... It makes them... It makes them more relatable for me. But see, I got high levels of fire in my chart. So I think that's why it makes me more compatible with them. And it makes me more, more comfortable. And I'm not saying fire signs, but it makes me more comfortable and compatible with fire energy being expressed. You know what I'm saying? Very forward, very direct. Ain't no beating around the bush bullshit. Let's just get to it. You know what I'm saying? With the nudes and all that, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? It really helps with long-distance dating because they just come out of nowhere. Like, oh, I, I almost forgot. Let me show you my tits in this bra. And, uh, oh, I got a tattoo on my ass. You want to see? Like... Out of nowhere, I'd be like, oh, fucking love this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. Like, that spontaneity. And it's like, it's not no it's not no brain trick. You know what I'm saying? It's not no fucking magic being done or none of that shit. It's just them doing what they did. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's dope for me. Um, and even when they blurt things out, right? And sometimes things can be offensive. So, I'm, I'm keeping it a bean with you right now. Like... But I found that even when their expression is offensive to me, again, it's the fire energy, not fire signs. This could be any any sign. But I think this goes with anyone. When someone blurts something out to you and it's just outlandish to you, it might even make sense to other people. Of course, it made sense to them, right? But for you, because it doesn't sit in the same vein with you, you're just like... Oh, that was some abrupt bullshit you just did. You know what I'm saying? Whether you express that to them or not, you know, I don't usually express that because I take my time to listen to what people say and see if I can learn from it before I just be reactive to it. And what I found is whenever I'm offended by fire energy, 
there's a riddle in that too. And I had to learn this. There's a riddle in it too. So I'll give you an example. Like a fire energy could be like telling me something about a stock or something like, yo, did you hear about X, Y, and Z stock? Like you should invest in that. I don't know if you're in the, in, in the investing and stuff like that, but if you should, you know what I'm saying? And I, and in my mind, I'm like, this person knows I'm kind of an, an investor already and they know that I'm a small business owner at that. So I can get offended like, you know, I thought I told you already invested in stocks. Why are you telling me about... Well, maybe that's why they're telling me about new stocks and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm taking it the wrong way. I'm just taking it like, yo, because of how they saying, how they friends or they people put them on to it. Now I should get on it too. And I'm just like offended by that because... I'm not a, you know what I mean? I'm not a follower. And they could mean well, you know what I'm saying? They could be like, oh, these guys are making money off of it. You could too, or you should too. And I'm just like, the riddle for me is why it doesn't sit well with me is because I want to be the investor in small businesses. So this is actually a real world example that happened with me. And, um, and I kid you not, like almost a week later, I was investing in small businesses. So it just goes to show, you know what I'm saying? I think this is a lesson for everyone who hears something and they not, it doesn't sit well with them. It's because you're supposed to do something about it. It was said to you for a reason, you know what I'm saying? And this is what I mean. Learning from it can be the best thing that can happen to you, you know what I'm saying? Um, but also fire energy when it's expressed, like I said, like sending fire nudes and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? The passion that's expressed through fire energy makes me want to fuck immediately, you know what I mean? It's like, yo, you got condoms? Let's do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no bullshit going on. So I appreciate that, too. Um, because there's an emotional fulfillment that comes with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I when I got to take a more slower, gradual approach with maybe earth energy that wants to be slower about it and use methodology, or even water energy that wants to be um, seducing and more mysterious and... You know what I mean? Using it as a tool. Uh, fire energy is just like, yo, look. Here. I know you be working your ass off type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, phone sex, whatever. Like I said, I be I be in the mad long distance relationships. You know what I'm saying? So, it don't matter. Like, I'm in all of that kind of wild shit. Not all of it. <laughs> let, me, let me hold back on that. Not all of it. But you get my drift. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not one of those, like, stingy motherfuckers when it comes to expressing myself either you know what i'm saying so fire energy expressed brings an emotional fulfillment when they participate should i say you know what i'm saying um now um because i just wanted to finish that off top that off we got to consider our circumstance when we're dating people would you agree like so like if you are long distance right it's only but so long y'all gonna go talking to each other, talking to each other, talking to each other, to where you just like, yo, the realistic circumstances, you could have a lover in a four block radius where you are. Same with me. You know what I'm saying? But give a nigga something type shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, and I won't even hold nothing over your head. You know what I'm saying? Why would I? Shit. I'm being realistic based upon our circumstance. You know what I mean? So... That's how I see that. Now, it's not all peaches and cream, though. Like, dealing with fire energy, it could seem forceful. It is forceful. Let me let me, let me, me just keep it a bean. It is forceful. Not all the time. But when it is, it's like, it makes me think about slave drivers and shit like that. And, like, fucking colonizers and people who take over territories and you know, killers and shit like that, you know? I'm keeping it a bean. Fire energy, it gives, that, gives me that impression. So sometimes when it's expressed, so like I think about like probably in medieval times or, you know, the Bronze Age and shit, when shit was going down to where people were just raiding, pillaging villages and shit like that and just taking people, raping people. It makes me think of rape and all of that. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty triggering, y'all. Just hear me out, though. So, in conversation or in these expressions, I be picking up on that shit, too, and detecting that shit, too. Like, yo, in a past life, you was probably a brutal bitch, yo. You know what I mean? 
or a dude. I don't know what fucking gender you was. You might have been a man, and you know what I mean? I'm just keeping it a bean, but you was a brutal motherfucker, you know? And um, when I experience those things, I'm just like, okay, I introduce Venus into the situation. You know, that's that love. Like, And I think fire energy, if it didn't have Venus to quell things, we would still be in a position where... Um, labor was forced and all types of shit sex favor not favors but sex was forced all types of shit would be forced you know what i'm saying so i've introduced venus into these types of conversations like yo you're gonna have to pay me for that you understand what i'm saying like and it could be the smallest thing to the biggest thing but if it not violates my integrity or my morals because if it did i just outright wouldn't do it you know what i'm saying i'm not agreeing to it but if it's something that they're considering that they think it's just going to happen just because I'm just like, nah. And it ain't an ego thing. It's just like, yo, I do have a boundary. So this is important for people, especially if you're a negative or a feminine sign. You got to realize that fire and air energy is masculine. So they're always coming to do something to us or with us because they got to come down to the level field. They got to come down to the playing field. You understand what I'm saying? So... They got to learn how to negotiate. If they don't negotiate, they're going to take. They're going to take. They're going to rob. They're going to manipulate. They're going to thieve. They're going to steal in some type of way. So they got to learn people skills. They got to learn how to negotiate. You understand what I'm saying? So I introduced that to the fire energy. Like, yo, pump your brakes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to, if you want to be on this field down here with us, we got rules too. We do got boundaries, believe it or not. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm a Pisces, I'm boundaryless. I've learned how to build them motherfuckers thanks to my Earth counterparts. You understand what I'm saying? So let's get the air. It's enough about fire, right? Let's get the air. Um, air I, is where I'm most deficient in my chart. So when dating, it's like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a theory, too. Like It's simpler for me to detect air expressions maybe because i'm deficient of it in my chart it's got the i got the least air amount of air in my chart so i'm able to detect the issues more simply simpler let's put it that way and um there's some things that piss me off about here energy like one being when the talking gets excessive and redundant like i Truly, I'm not a fan of repeating conversations that we've had already, especially testing ones. And when I mean testing, I mean because, like, fuck, you are actually having this conversation. You're telling me the stuff that you went through and you experienced. And now you're telling me again? Like, what the fuck kind of torture is this? You know what I'm saying? It makes me think about, it makes me think about interrogators and shit like that. Like, what, what type of fucking torture method is this? You know what I'm saying? What, we're in a fucking black black ops cia room or something what the fuck are you doing you know it's like um, when you see those movies or or, or or hear about them documentaries or even if they're jokes like they're slapstick parodies or some shit and they like um they kept playing or, or mk ultra type shit they kept replaying the sound of fucking nails being scratched on the chalkboard or some shit like that like that's what air energy means to me like and i just be like yo that shit gets me upset and not only that right when the talking becomes excessive it opens up the inevitability is that a word is that how you say that it's inevitable that they tell a lie it's inevitable it's fucking inevitable and again this don't mean you got to be a air sign gemini aquarius uh what's the other one gemini aquarius a libra this means air expressions You'll get better at detecting them, too, when you, you know, the more that you fuck with astrology. You know what I'm saying? You'll be able to tell the difference. But when that talking gets excessive and they start that lying shit, pisses me the fuck off, B. Because I can catch them in a lie so simple. And it's like they don't... There's two types of lies. There's, there's one lie that they do just for the sake of conversation. You know, they want to draw out the conversation and make it as long as possible. And it's just like, yo, we could have hung up 10 minutes ago. And it's not that I don't love a good conversation. If it's good, I'm fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you can put the variables in there. You know what I'm saying? Or as long as it can get in depth. 
I'm, I'm intrigued by shit like that. But if it's just a bunch of airhead type shit, I, it's a pet peeve of mine. Like, shut up already. Like, you know, let's hang up now. Like, because get the fuck out of here. Go, go, go about your day. You know what I'm saying? Even if they my friends. The shit, I'm talking about dating, right? So we could be cool, but I will still cut off a conversation with someone I'm dating based upon these types of expressions. Like, yo, you said that already. Like, yo, you don't remember we talked about that already? Yo, I heard that story already. The fuck is you doing? Oh, I think you did. Yeah, you know I fucking heard that story already. You know what I mean? You dragging me through this shit again. And then you got the other types of lies that they're deliberate. Like, I can detect when the air energy has actually... I don't know if they writing this shit down on like some type of fucking essay or something, but I can detect when they have thought about exactly what they're going to say to me, how they're going to frame it, how they're going to question it, what they're trying to get out of it, and what they're trying to manipulate me into either believing or thinking, perceiving for a purpose. And they can do these things, people do these things when I'm dating them, Without being up front and forward as fire energy would about what they want the result to be. And it's just like, come on, I'm a fucking Pisces, man. Like, I know what you want. I know what you're leading on to. And I know what you don't want type shit. Like, I I already know. Like, I could actually speed up the conversations with these people when I do these things because I've done it before, right? So when I do these things with the women that I'm dating, they start being narcissistic. They start doing things like, oh, you're just, why are you being like that? You're being offensive or you're being defensive or you're being, you know, why you want to argue with me and this, that, and that. And it's like, yo, I'm not arguing with you. I'm just stating the obvious. I'm pointing out the obvious. Just say say it. Like, you got the air energy to say it, and yet you're not saying it. You're going all around saying what you really want to say. I'm reading in between the lines. I'm a Pisces, B. Like, come on, knock it the fuck off already. You know what I mean? So I'm not being standoffish. It's the longer that I let this go on and let you try to pull a fast one on me, the more encouraged you're going to get, the more confident you're going to feel, and you're going to be thinking that you're duping me. So I might as well nip it in the bud right now. That's all I'm doing is nipping it in the bud right now. You got to go back to the drawing board, or you just got to be real. See, these are the women that I usually end up not dating for a long time or we take long periods of breaks because normally a person would say, you need to go back to the drawing board so you can learn me better, learn my love language and this, that, and that. And I'll be like, nah, it ain't even that with the air energy. They got to learn themselves more. They got to learn themselves more because they're trying to flip a dynamic to where two people are supposed to be connecting and talking to each other, but they're just so busy trying to figure the other person out and make a move on the other person that they don't even know themselves. They don't know that other people can look at them and see them for who they are. So I just be like, yo, you need some time by yourself. You got you got to do some healing or you need to work, figure some shit out. Go see a therapist or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> But shit, I care for you. Obviously, I'm dating you, right? So I'm really trying to put you on. like, And I'm not going... Most of the times, I'm not the therapist for the air energy because sometimes there are instances where I am. But most of the times, I'm not because they can't come across as know-it-alls. They got the vocabulary to sound like they know it all. And it's just like, you know what? I don't think this is a task for me. I think you should really go get professional help because you're so airy that it's clouding your judgment. It's clouding your best discernment. I like I be knowing what's good and what's best for them. But I just be like, you know what? I'm gonna refrain from saying it because I'm done. Like just listening to you exhausts me, you know? So shit pisses me off about air energy right there. Um you know the deliberate lies and shit like that. Like come on, knock it the fuck off. Who the fuck does that? You know what I'm saying? Um because communication is not the same as emotion, you know? And so when when people, when the women that I'm dating and we, we converse for a while and they're wondering why we don't connect, we don't click, it's like because communication is not the same thing as emotion. We can converse back and forth, but it doesn't mean that I'm, I'm clicking with you. 
doesn't mean I'm connecting because I don't feel the emotion. I don't sense the emotion and I'm not an emotional being. However, my fabric is. So I know very, I know fully what emotions are. I'm an empath. So I know how to deliver back to people what they need in conversation because I'm an empath by nature. My soul is empathic. You know what I mean? I'm just not so emotionally involved when I express and I deliver what I'm saying. I'm more airy when delivering my message or fiery. You know what I'm saying? When I'm excited, I'm just like you can hear it in my emphasis. You understand what I'm saying? But I know when dealing with emotions, you got to have more of a or it's better to have more of a calmer demeanor and an understanding demeanor when responding instead of airy or fiery where you can just seem like you're talking at people and it's not cool to talk at emotional people um it just really isn't um it's just not cool because like i said i can tell when air energy is you know they have predetermined what they're going to say to me right and it's just like it's not always a bad thing because I can learn from it. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good when someone, you can tell someone has written an essay to target you. It's like you did a fucking uh, business proposal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like you did a fucking business strategy to target a certain audience and you're going to ship your product to them and this, that, and the third. And it's like, I don't want to feel like I'm being fucking surveyed here. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking dating you, bitch. <laughs> so... Um, because you can get trapped in a proposition like that because air rules over contracts. You know what I'm saying? So I need to fully know the terms and the conditions. And once I hear them and I know them, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. That doesn't, you know, I'm cautious and I'm suspicious when I hear some shit that don't gel well with me. Um, and air energy can get fickle in, in, at the same times too. So it's like when you are doing designing a contract or you're agreeing with someone upon something and then they switch it, it's like, well, wait a minute, you know, and I'm an adaptable, mutable sign. So I know how to do that very well. But when it comes to terms and agreements, that's solidified. You understand what I'm saying? Now, if you put in the terms and agreements, this may be subject to change. Some contracts are like that. It got to be updated later. A lot of applications with terms and conditions always tell you that. We're going to have an update next month, next three months, whatever, whatever. Cool. But the foundation of the contract should be situated. You know what I mean? To get fickle and change and switch it up on, on a person and pull the rug from under their feet, that's some bullshit. And I don't like that. You know what I mean? We We ain't going to last long like that. Straight up. Now, there's pros with air, though. Like, brainstorming is one of my favorite. And although that can be a water element as well, um, it's definitely an air element. So, brainstorming ideas with air energy is fucking brilliant. I love it. Connecting the dots. Also, very useful when, like, solving puzzles and riddles and shit like that. Scenarios, real-life situations where, you're like, you got to play devil's advocate with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes just listening to your own self. Is not enough. Sometimes. Most of the times it is. I think it's changing these days. I think modern times, you do got to lean on yourself a lot, which is different. It's different. Because you be talking to yourself for a while and you figure some shit out and you be like, yeah, I am right. You know what I'm saying? And then when you ask somebody else, you know they wrong. And then you look at that Bible scripture, like, don't lean on your own understanding. you just like, God, check this shit out. I'm about to lean on my own understanding because it's my gut. It's my intuition telling me I can't, you know, so that better be you, God. My intuition better be God, God damn it. I'm going to say God damn it right after that. We just be bugging out out here, right? <laughs> we just, <laughs> just got to involve God with shit, right? But I'm serious. So those are the pros for air for me. Um, so let's get in the water. So the water element, when I'm dating chicks in the water element, a lot of taboos involved. I smile, but it's not always something to smile about. You got to understand, right? 
And I'm pretty sure some of y'all can relate with me out there. Like, like just imagine, like, dealing with somebody who's dealing with somebody, right? Myself included. You are going to be subject to hearing about that person and how the person you're dating doesn't like certain things about that person. And, you know, it's like, it's like getting your dick sucked by a girl and her man is calling her while it's happening. And then she picks up the phone and, like, in between says little words to him, puts him on speaker. Like, it's just, you know what I mean? And I know that's pretty much like, like damn, you had to go there, dude. And I'm trying to explain to you the depths of how much water, energy, and interaction that I've been through in my life. You know what I'm saying? That's like, that is pretty fucking deep. But there's more. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just like, and... Sometimes we try to figure these things out. Like, why are we like this? Why do, why do we do things like this? Why does it even excite? Are you excited more by this, or you know what I mean? Are you doing this on purpose? And it's just like, no. When you're dealing with water expressions like this, it's all organic. I didn't fucking know that guy was going to call while this was happening. You know what I'm saying? He intuitively somehow figured out maybe he needed to call you at this time. Maybe he feels that you're doing something that. He wouldn't want you to do right now. You know what I'm saying? And that's why all of this is happening. It's like a wave of emotion that's all catching up with each other. It's all, you know what I'm saying? And then that's just who we are, what we are at that moment in time anyway. You know what I'm saying? I don't get too stuck on that shit because it it just is what it is, you know? But the water elements, and you don't got to be a water sign if you can just attest to what I'm saying. You understand, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you just be in the heat of the moment. Or the, or, the, or, the, or the feeling of the moment. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about emotions here. So it's like, yo. Hindsight may be 2020, but the moment is the moment type shit. Um, I do a lot of listening when it comes to the water element. You know what I'm saying? And this can be... It could get overwhelming at times. You know? I've had to cut some things short because of that too. Because... Sometimes I get exhausted and I'm just like, wait a minute. Because with emotion energy, it's not like, to me, fire expressions are more solution oriented because they come across so forceful that it's like I have no alternative but to provide a solution because it's just like, you're going to crack, you're going to keep crashing into me if I don't put some cushion on this wall and, 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 and guide you to where you need to be directing that energy air more solution based because it's going to come to some type of contractual agreement water energy earth too water energy is more like this shit could be sporadic and all over the place and you got to find a container to put that shit in and it's like sometimes you got to remind the person in a cunning type of way too like you know you need to do something about this, right? Like, we have to do something about this shit. Because, or else, you're going to get addicted to expressing these emotions and knowing that you can with someone, me being that someone, and that's going to become a repetitive thing because you're going to remember how good it makes you feel to let loose, to unload, to vent, because you have a support system now. But a support system is supposed to bring you help as well. You understand what I'm saying? And I can't let the water energy get comfortable in expressing and dumping and venting when they're not bringing solutions to their problems. And it's real delicate. It's delicate because most of the times when water element expressions get in that type of situation of speaking that way, it's usually because a narcissist personality type has been abusive to them. And what the narcissist personality does a lot is it makes you shun your emotions. It makes you, they make you think that your emotions are stupid and that they're dumb. And I, you know, I hear all the, the, the shorts running around social media and they're like, yo, your emotions aren't facts and this, that, and the third. And listen, I'd advise to stop playing with emotional people to stop playing with people's emotions in general. Now, 
I must agree. Some people don't have emotions like other people. You know, there's levels to this shit. But it doesn't make you any better. And I told y'all, we in Aquarius age and it's producing more Pisces characteristics in the universe and now in the world. So what's happening is a lot of these... You hear about them. A lot of these eruptions, if you will, happening all over the place is due to emotional outbursts. And it's because people have kept sh shoving these people's emotions down and not respecting their emotions or how they feel about things. Because, you know, their their attitude is toughen up, you know, tough love and suck it up, buttercup. And you know, all you got to do is this and get hard and do look. Stop talking to people like that. Or try. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care how much you think it's the best thing because that's what you do. Some narcissists actually do that. It's not even what they do. So they're not even leading by example. They're doing that to hear themselves talk and make themselves look good and feel more powerful over the person who is in a vulnerable state at that time, confided in them to speak to them about it, and this is the fucking thanks they get. Yo, don't... Try your best not to do that with people because people are fucking snapping now. People are letting out their emotions. So I've learned that I've had to become patient and more, um, you know, soft and gentle in my touch when dating these women because, you know, I've, I've dated some and still are dating some bugged out fucking women. And when I say bugged out, I mean not only been through a lot of shit, but are vulnerable enough to state the things that they've been through and still got love for themselves. Don't get it twisted. There's still love for themselves down in there, even when they've been through the worst of shit. You know what I'm saying? And I assist in getting them better in some type of way. I know this. Sometimes my dating seems like a fucking consulting session, and that's okay. You know what I mean? That's okay. But it's not always the best feeling either, you know? If that person is not getting help or when that person is not getting help, it could be it could be fucked up. Um, sexual interactions are great, of course. I don't if you ex experience some watery um expressions in the sexual department, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's the rhythm, you know what I'm saying? They get what you get without saying it. They don't, you don't, it is about reading minds. So, you know, they're like, oh, well, I'm supposed to read your fucking mind. Uh, duh, yeah, because you can, goddamn it, now do it. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of that goes on. And although it takes some brain power to get that done, so what? So be it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's fun. It's, it's intergalactical. It's out of this fucking world. You know what I'm saying? Um, fire nudes come with that as well. You know what I'm saying? Spontaneous nudes. Hey, here goes some titties. Have a nice day. You know what I'm saying? Fucking love that shit. Do more of that, ladies. You're really fucking boosting these men's testosterone and their confidence to go and conquer their day. You know what I'm saying? Digital sex, y'all. Get into it. Consensual, of course. Um, where was I? Um, spiritual conversations with the water element are fucking fantastic because like air and earth energy is more superficial to me um yeah i was gonna say fire but nah not even like even leo shit to me when when they when they're with someone they're more passionate about the, the relationship they don't go into all this grandioso outside shit but with when spiritual conversation, like, I'm more into that. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather talk about that type of shit than the other bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So, I love a deep conversation. I love talking about things that I feel need to be talked about right now. So, I love dating women that are on that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Once a woman starts getting into all of that um, reality TV shit with me and all, I just be like, all right, look, we're not talking about this. Like, I, I got to go. I got to go. I'll say it just like that, like, yo, I gotta go. They know exactly why I'm saying I gotta go. And I don't even need to say why. They know. I'm doing too much now. I don't give a fuck about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Which is gonna bring me to earth. <laughs> it's gonna bring me to earth. Um, earth 
expressions always tell me that I got more work to do. You know what I mean? So it's like, what I mean by that is they're always mentioning work in some type of way to where it's like, okay, I get it. You're a workaholic. Lo and behold, so am I. But I've learned to make time for myself because I'm not just going to be working all of my life. But earth expressions make you feel like you got catching up to do. Like you, what are you doing? You could have been this. You should have been this. You should be this. You you have the potential to do it. I'm like, why are we, how did we get here? Why are we even talking about that? I didn't call you and ask you, hey, how do you look at me? Where do you think I should be? Do you think I live up to my potential? Do you think I live up to that? I don't ask any of these questions to the women I'm dating. So why are these earth expressions being made? So this is another thing that can come across as offensive to me. And it's just like, we're just different in that type of way. Like earth expressions, you can tell how superficial they are. You can tell their perception of status. And it's 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 really off putting. It's a turn off to be to be real. Now of course I can learn from it too. I learn from it and I'm like, okay. I could be those things that they expect me to be or think that I should be or whatever the case may be. But in most at all times, I already feel that I am. Not what they think I should be, but what I should be. You understand? And I'm afraid I'm saying it wrong. It's like another way that I say people are delusional when they when they speak about me. Their idea of success. Okay, let's let's start there. Their idea, Earth expressions, ideas of success, are usually all the same, and that's not the definition of success. That definition of success is a generalization, and I'm pretty sure y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Y'all can get in the comment section and sound off exactly what the societal idea of success is, right? But the 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 real deal is success is doing what you want to do and happy as fuck doing it. Point blank, period. That's it. If you're looking at this as a race, like, oh, I should be at this point, at this point in time, and this, that, and the third... You're, you're wrong. You're not in your own shell. You're in somebody else's shell. You're living life vicariously just by thinking that type of way. You got to get into you. This is what I learned for myself. You know what I'm saying? And when you try to argue this point, especially to the woman that you're dating, this can come across as you being weak. This can come across as you being um, not taking accountability. This can come across as not um, having ambition. This can come across. This can come across in so many negative ways to the person that you're dating, and it's just like, yo. Again, I don't gotta be ruthless and be like, "Fuck you, bitch," because then it's really gonna come across as I'm butthurt and shit like that. And I'm really not, even though sometimes I do feel like disrespecting a ass. Not disrespecting a ass, but just telling them off. That's not disrespectful if you ask me. But just telling them off. You know what I'm saying? But what's the point when I know that I'm successful? You understand what I'm saying? So it's better for me to use my technique of letting people be delusional. You are fucking delusional about me when it comes to me. You know what I'm saying? And you might need some time to be by yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not going to completely cut you off, but take some time by yourself. Live life a little bit more and watch the rat race. Live in a rat race because earth expressions are usually living in a rat race too. Something I want to get into. Some Some women that I date when they're doing their earthly expressions, they talk about the things that they have. They talk about their job. They talk about going here, there, 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 which drains me. All I could think about is just like packing suitcases, making plans, getting to the airport, getting on a plane, landing there, having only four days, and you're trying to take 10,000 photos, fit eight outfits in, and it's like, I'm tired before I even get there listening to this shit. And then you hear them talk about their bills. But they glamorize their lifestyle as if there could be no other way that they could live. They wouldn't be caught red-handed living below their means. They have to live above their means. And it's just like, it's fucking, it's, it's, it's fucking dumb. <laughs> That's what it is. Because what I hear, again, as a person that fully knows emotions, 
What I hear is their stress. What I hear is their burdens, bills and bills and bills and bills. I don't want to hear that shit because eventually that becomes you need help with your bills. You understand what I'm saying? And some of y'all, like I said, I'm dating. I'm talking about dating. I'm not talking about being in a relationship, a committed relationship with another woman. I'm talking about dating. So once I start hearing too much of you talking about bills and shit, now I could be foul. I could be as ruthless as a talker as earth expressions can be, as critical as they can be and be like, well, you need to fucking get another job, bitch. (laughs) Or you need to, you know what I'm saying? I could say what some wild shit, but it's just like, I already know, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, okay. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you go and think about that. You know what I'm saying? Now, if it comes down to an argument, then I want to speak my piece. But Earth expressions are so good at speaking their piece and then blocking off yours. They're the masters of boundaries. You know what I'm saying? It's Earth. So it's just like, oh fuck, how you feel? Fuck what you got to say. You know what I'm saying? I said what I had to say, and that's that. You know what I mean? So sometimes I just be like, man, fuck it. It don't even make no sense. But um. It makes me think, though, by by the time that the seeds that I planted begin sprouting and begin to growing and expanding, that the earth expressions in these particular women will be exhausted or to be limited to, um, what do you call it, to a fucking pension check or Social Security or something. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just like you live this glamorous life or what it appears to be for like 20, 30 years, right? It makes me think of luxury brands that put the big logos on it because they know the urban types will buy them because they want to be showy. And, okay, you live that show-off style, lifestyle for 20 to 30 years, but then when I have the ability to tower past that, I guess you can say, we don't, we just like we didn't match up before because of how critical they were of me. We won't match up later on, and this is you know theory because I don't think that I'm at that place yet. But mentally I am, spiritually I am, and it's just like I can kind of foresee that. Like damn, like you, all that shit you was talking, you're going to need my ideology later on down the road. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, that's how I feel about that. And um, that's it, man. That's it. I mean, I pretty much feel like I covered all of those expressions the best that I possibly could, at least for 2023. That's how things have been ran down. And I think probably subsequently, this is how I'm going to be explaining these things. I don't think much is going to change about these elemental expressions in dating. Um, If I happen to learn some new stuff, I'll come back to this video and look over it again before I go back into it. And try to do a part two for like the next year or something like that. But I think in a nutshell, that covers the elemental expressions pretty pretty much. So, y'all. Y'all have fun dating out there. Remember, dating is supposed to be fun. You know what I'm saying? It's the fifth house type shit. It's supposed to be fun, y'all. So, if y'all having all these issues and stuff and y'all dating, get the fuck out of that shit. That shit ain't for y'all. Y'all doing a bunch of fuck shit. And if you're in your 20s. Think twice about impregnating each other and shit like that. Get a get a sad in return in before you start thinking about shit like that, at least, please. Look, I'm just telling you from experience. I ain't trying to fuck up your childhoods and shit like that, man. But listen, if y'all know what inflation is, we I'm pretty much experienced enough to know what inflation is. I'm just trying to give you a gem, yo. You know what I'm saying? Alright, I ain't gonna drag this no more. I'm fucking out of here.